Meet the latest addition to the Car Advice long-term garage, the Ford Escape ST line. The Escape's often overlooked in what is a very crowded mid-size SUV segment. Does it deserve that treatment? That's what we're going to find out over the next three months. Our Escape is the ST line, which means it's positively loaded with gear. Power comes from a 2-litre EcoBoost petrol engine making 178 kilowatts and 345 newton metres. It's all-wheel drive and actually rides 10 millimetres lower than standard thanks to its ST line suspension. Price? Well, it's listed at 39,990 before on roads, but the technology package and lovely metallic blue paint on our car boost that to 41,390. It is a lot of car for the money. With 178 kilowatts of power on tap, the Ford Escape is among the most powerful cars in its class. It's up there with the Holden Equinox and the Volkswagen Tiguan 162 TSI. It really shows on the road. This thing is really punchy. It's almost hot hatch quick when you get it up and going. Ford says that along with the lowered suspension, the ST line has got sharper steering and stiffer anti-roll bars than the standard Escape, and it definitely feels a little bit pointier, especially when you're really slinging into some corners, and there'll be more on that in our long-term updates. Does that mean the ride's really annoying? It doesn't seem like it at the moment, but obviously time will tell, and that's kind of the point of these long-term loans. Now, the interior. This is a Ford from the early 2010s, essentially, at its core, and that means that, well, rather than going touchscreens and all really slick design, it was inspired by Nokia phones with lots of buttons to start with. It's been cleaned up in a facelift, but realistically in here, things aren't as nicely designed as they are in, say, the latest Tiguan. Everything works really well though. Sync is fantastic and I'm already really enjoying the voice control. That works well on the move. The other things like the air conditioning and all of the main controls, well, they're all where you'd expect them to be. And again, familiarity will make that much easier. So although it's not the prettiest interior in the business, it certainly seems functional to start with. And I would imagine over the next three months, we might come to really like it. And that's about it. I'm really looking forward to life with the Escape ST line. It seems like a really interesting take on the SUV formula. Uh, if there's anything you want to know about the car, make sure you head to caradvice.com and let us know in the comments on our updates. And you see that little subscribe button down there? You should click that. Just that one. Click it.